This is one of the reasons why I love living outside of Bangkok. Don't worry, the weed is coming and we'll, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll give you some. Welcome to today's video. I'm joined by my girlfriend and my doggo, Mr. Dalla. We are on our way to a restaurant called uh, Swangun. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's about a 17 minute drive from where I live here in Thailand. Um, what's special about this restaurant is uh, they actually serve kind of like deep fried, uh, I'm not gonna say it because I don't wanna get demonetized, but. I'll show you what I mean a little later. But right now, it's incredibly gorgeous outside, very hot, very different to, yeah, about 4.30 a.m. last night. I've got a video of what the rain looked like. I want to ask you guys if you enjoy these type of like small mini vlogs where I just you know go around uh, explore restaurants um, explore like shopping malls etc let me know in the comments because uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure if you like these type of like mini vlogs on the channel here and if you do and you appreciate them it'd be good feedback oh this building right here just here is a compound of confiscated cars so basically the police have actually confiscated those cars and they sell them and they actually go on sale, I think, once every six months at auction for whatever the price, for whatever the bid goes for. It's not easy to find a restaurant here in Thailand that allows dogs. So uh, it's a pretty rare occasion for uh, Mr. Dalla to come on this trip. But we've been to this restaurant before and so we know dogs are allowed here. What's up, bro? I'm not going to open the window because uh, it's really hot outside, mate. And you're making the whole car hot. That's why you're like hyperventilating here. Let the aircon do its thing. Back Hey, relax, my boy, relax. Ooh, look at this. Fancy. Very fancy. City car. He's a good boy, good boy. I'm not sure. But look how nice this little bamboo bridge is. Oh so, yeah, we made it. <laughs> we made it across. <laughs> it's really wet because it rained. Okay, we have to take the shoes off. This still on or off, babe? Still on. I think he'll fall in. I think he doesn't know that's water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you sitting on a pillow like that for, mate? <laughs> I'm gonna put some mosquito repellent spray on. Oh, baby, his eyes. Be careful. The fan's blowing this way. You gotta get this when you come to Thailand. Trust me, because these mosquitoes have no chill. The green stuff here is actually all pond water and it's kind of like, it's one of those cafes where they've got like rows and rows and rows upon like little ponds that go around the cafe. And the kind of hut we're sitting in right now, it's all made from bamboo. It's really nice. This is one of the reasons why I love living outside of Bangkok, because you've got access to restaurants like this that you wouldn't be able to have access to if you were living in Bangkok because space is a real luxury. Now, let's order some stuff up. What are we ordering? So there's a physical menu and a digital menu. This digital menu you get from their website or from their app? Oh, this one have to scan line. Order. You have to scan it. There's a physical menu right here. 
and you've got to scan the QR code there and it'll bring you to this online website. We've ordered this kind of like deep fried, you know what that is. Hey, 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 don't jump inside, mate. <laughs> if you jump inside. <laughs> All right, land long. Oh, yeah, you got to... this bridge on this side looks like it's collapsed. You see? Hey, what's up, mate? You hot? Look, you've got the fan pointing towards you now. I'm gonna grab something and show my doggy. Look, if you jump inside. Oh, Dala, Lulu, Lulu. Dala. Oh, I came here to drop oh, wait, some really? money huh? on some food. Each I don't of these know. huts has a number in the corner of where the electrical socket is. So just on the front of that lid there is the number, number 15. And you've got to input that when you're making your order on their website. It's a website, right? Not website, just link to lie. They lie, they have lie. Oh, it's official. a line official. Yes. My bad, my bad. I just realized our hut doesn't have these sort of beautiful meshes, you see? These bamboo huts are actually held in place by what looks like bolts. They've got a bolt for every single one on either side. For anybody wondering about the rigidity of this hut, it feels pretty safe, quite sturdy. As long as you don't do stupid things on it, like jump around and move excessively, it's perfectly fine. The only thing about this place is it's quite busy and food can take a little while to come. We ordered free drinks. It says special Thai nation ting drink. This is a lifesaver if you've got a pet. Just pour some cold water in there. Not too much. Close it up. We're gonna press this button right here and he can drink right away. Hey, hey, look at you making all that mess, mate. What? <laughs> don't, drink, don't drink too quickly, mate. It's cold. Do you want to drink a little bit more? Oh, no, you're good, you're good. And then you just tilt this upwards, as you saw, and press this button, push the button in, and the water pours back into the bottle. While we're waiting for the food to come, let me give you a tour of this restaurant. Okay. Usually when we come with friends, um, there's about five of us, we occupy this hut here because it's bigger if it's unoccupied. It is a bit of a narrow walkway around this restaurant due to the nature of it. We're back. I'm already sweating and I've only been out for like two or three minutes. Oh wow, the food has arrived very quickly today. I wish I didn't do that tour, now I'm like hot. Hey, you wanna steal my food, huh? Don't worry, the weed is coming and we'll, <laughs> and we'll give you some. My food. Hey, hey, hey. Can't be eating my food yet. Yes. You remember? I remember, I remember. So this is a combination of uh, egg and prawns over rice along with like some, I don't know what herb this is, but it's very tasty. Let's come and see. What is this fair dish? That's all right. Tom Yam Kung. God damn, that looks good. Tom Yam Kung is a hot, spicy, sour soup that traditionally includes shrimp and fragrant spices. In Thai, Tom Yam means boiling spicy and sour, and it perfectly describes this dish. The soup's distinctive flavours are the result of combining ingredients such as lemongrass, kaffir lime leaves, galangal, lime juice, fish sauce and crushed red chilli peppers. I have to say, it was delicious. And then at last, the deep fried leaves arrived. You can literally eat it like this. Brilliant. Let's give one to my dog. Oh, that's a big one, mate. Oh, you wanna eat that, mate? You wanna eat that? Yeah? Come on. You 
munchy, munchy. Again. Yeah, alloy, alloy. Whoa, this is a big one. Yeah, you gotta be high as Ooh. today. My hands are still greasy. I'm gonna have to wash them over there. But looks like we finished up our meal. We're gonna now start heading home. Um, there's actually thunder going on in the background. You might be able to hear it should another one go off. Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> he looks cute, but he's annoying. Come on. On the bridge, on the bridge, on the bridge. <laughs> Absolute muppet. It's not easy come with a dog. I can hear comments in the background saying, he's so yeah. cute. You can play with him. Dala, la, 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 la. Dala. Yes. Sorry, cap. Sorry, cap. Sorry, cap. Good boy. Good boy. Sorry, cap. Dala. Yeah. Good boy. Okay. Come on, cap. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, you have indoor seating too. Money <laughs> low. Bye bye. Oh, it's got a lot of hair. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm hot. Oh, wow. Looks like our car's hot. Wow. I'm telling you, thunderstorms in broad daylight. I mean, there are clouds about, but still, that's setting a car's alarm going off. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. For now, I've got to wait for these two cars behind me to reverse back so we can get out. How has it become this cloudy already?